Hi, welcome back. This is on a July uh, volleyball one on one uh, example video two. Uh, this is the second, uh, and we're basically reviewing the step close volleyball blocking technique. And I'm looking at a bad example of it, uh, of some blocking technique where I think they could be using it more effectively. Okay, uh, as you recall, we're watching Miles Evan Ryan Daughtry, uh, Stafford Slick Reap Pretty. Um, we're really looking at Ryan's blocking technique. I think it's pretty weak. Uh, based upon his size, I think he should be housing a lot of balls. Uh, and I pulled off the video off my buddy at NY Varsity Sports. He just does an amazing job. So I'm going to post his video for the full video here. If you can, just watch it because it's awesome. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the last play we watched. I'm going to just start with this again. Okay, um, what's interesting for me is uh, Ryan is, in my opinion, completely out of it in terms of his positioning and his footwork. Okay, right now he's blocking a line block from the middle. Um, it was not a great pass, okay. Uh, Reed is gonna set it for Staffin. Okay, and then let's see what they do with it. Uh, in this play right now, um, the first thing you can look at and think about is just the wind. So the wind is blowing this way. So, um, that means the ball's going to carry more outside, and Stafford's going to be more likely to play a ball on the right uh, of the screen, at least, so on his outside. So he, it's ideally in a situation where the wind's blowing off the ocean like this, take a ball over there on the right side. Now, Ryan is blocking and slaying middle. The first thing you'll notice is his feet are parallel, so he's very, not very good at moving across the net. If you look at the best indoor players that are middles, they actually when there's a broken play they actually take a step off the net because it's easier to move sideways and forward versus moving just sideways now that's one of the big things about the step close volleyball blocking technique is it allows you to far more effectively move across the net because you're moving forward and sideways versus just sideways okay so let's watch this technique okay uh, one of the big things you'll notice in this play, and I kind of mentioned the last play, is um, with Ryan being so tight to the net, his field of vision is very narrow. Okay, so he doesn't read very well. And that's one of the problems he has. He's not very good on the ball setter, ball hitter. Okay, so you can watch how he watches this ball too long. We'll just start with that. Still on the ball, still on the ball, still on the ball. And then he picks it up. Did you notice that? So he didn't pick up the hitter until that moment. You can almost watch his head. Watch his head as he picks it up. Watch how his head makes a move. Okay, I'll try to get that in. So he's on the ball. Watch his head. Up, and then he realizes it. And he's like, oh, I'm out of position. Now, he had two choices here. He could have either basically step close with his right leg and then push back onto the line. Or based upon this wind. So in my opinion, based upon a wind like this, it's not a very easy shot Okay, this hitter over here is ideally going to be wanting to send most of his balls hard angle. Okay, that's his shot into this wind. Okay, so that means that this Ryan where he should be is starting outside the court and coming in. Okay, so in my opinion, what would have been a better play for Ryan in this situation is start and have his right foot on the net, kind of leading this player, knowing that Stafford wants to go outside. Okay, right hand on the ball and then penetrating with the left. Now, because Ryan's footwork is bad and he read late, you can actually watch his head move. He doesn't move very effectively across the net. And bang, look where his arm is. Now, that's a great shot by Stafford, but still, he should have his right hand on that ball here. Okay. So he should be almost starting outside over here. Let's see. He should be starting outside over here. And then that left hand, notice how I would like that left hand pushing on the ball there. Okay. And I don't think he does that very effectively. So he's never really attacking the ball. It's, um, you saw that video that we talk about with Steve Anderson, where it's like either blocking or grabbing. You know, his mindset, I think, would be better with the step close. Look at the videos around it. If he's basically going in and penetrating with that grabbing mindset. I'll try to post the Steve Anderson video too so you can see the link for that. But I think part of it is he's always trying to block versus grab. 
And this is a great example. And you saw it. And then also his footwork is terrible. Okay. Um, one of the things I also like about the step close is it forces you to take a little bit more of an indoor blocking mentality where basically your hand, one hand is on the ball. Ryan doesn't do that very well where he basically puts one hand on the ball. His right hand should be flat and straight on the ball right now. And then he should be making moves with his left hand. Okay, but he doesn't do that. He's normally moving both of his arms across the net at the same time. Okay. Great example. Okay, let's see what happens. So you know Reed's coming back into the middle in this situation because of the wind. He wants to basically attack here. So Reed is passing middle, trying to attack middle. Okay. So uh, let's see what Ryan's trying to play here. So in this situation, okay, that's a good play by, uh, I actually didn't think that was bad by both of them. Let's look it up. Now, what I like about this is, and I think can be even better, is he's blocking angle. Okay, but look, he closes with his left foot. I think he would be better closing with his right foot. But what's good about this play is as a blocking angle, as a blocking angle play from the middle, notice his right hand is relative, his left hand is relatively straight on that play, plus his right hand is blocking the seam angle. That forces Reed to come back into the angle, okay, which basically makes a good dig for Miles. Okay. That was a much better block. His footwork would have been better on the other way around, though. If he had stepped close with his right foot, he could actually push it a little bit more. But it wasn't bad. It was still all right because his arms were okay. You know, when you're seven foot, it makes up for a lot of things. Notice his right hand is penetrating into the angle. This is good. Right, left hand is straight. That's not a bad block. Okay. Good dig by Miles. Nice play. Another great dig by Miles. Great shot, man. Wow, good playing, buddy. It was smooth. Okay, this is a great example. What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, so he's basically closing angle. Okay, now this is the one that I, is just so important for me. Now, the thing about the step close is it allows you to move uh, horizontally or across the net far more effectively and block into the areas that you want to move. Okay, so I'll show you this and then you can see. So he's blocking angle. Okay, so watch his feet. His feet are parallel and that ball is right over here. Okay. Now, if his right foot, Ryan's right foot, was off the net, okay, what that would mean is he can step close into this a little bit later, okay? Reed sees them coming in and doing a cross-court shot, so he wants to shoot angle. Now, Ryan, because of his footwork, can't move horizontally across the net and step close here, okay? If his right foot was off the net, what that would allow him to do is basically block this ball because he can move horizontally far better and take that area there. So he can basically take this ball here. Like you can step close and take a ball over here if you choose. Okay. But you can't do that in moving horizontally across the net. Okay. And I'll show you guys the video. There's a video on that. So basically, because of his footwork here, he couldn't make a, an aggressive big move across the net and block that ball. Like, that ball should be housed. Like, Ryan should house that ball all day long. Um, anyway, let's just watch it one more time. His left hand should be on the ball, and then he should be step-closing with the right and making his move. Notice also how he makes a double move here. Okay, look at his arm. His arm is not straight. Look at this. When that arm should be 
coming through here, bang. Okay, just ah, fundamentals, man. Okay, so I've counted like six mistakes right now. That should have been a block in my opinion. Okay, that's not bad. That's over on two. Just out, not bad. Okay, so let's look at that play. So again, he's trying to block the line and penetrate into the line. His left arm is straight. I like that. Okay. Because he's coming back into the line of a middle play. And he, this is really his big arm. His right hand is his big arm. Okay. If he had stepped close with his right, he would have jumped a little bit high and been able to push that ball a little bit harder. Still a pretty good block for Stafford Slick out. Okay. And he got the point. Attack of the birds, look at that. You guys gotta watch this video, the wind is howling. Check out that flag over there. It was howling like crazy. It's a fun video. The commentator did such a great job. Okay, so Stafford's trying to come middle, I'm guessing. Oh, now that's like in another example, like Ryan should be on this like, oh. If he's coming middle and he's taking his right foot, then he should be pushing more with that right hand. Or he could take the other approach and push with the left. I would most probably suggest, based upon the location of the set, step closing with the right step and really pushing that hand. But because he's not really pushing that hand, he doesn't have that aggressive mindset. He's not grabbing. He's not really penetrating, which the step close would basically do. He gets tooled. Frustrating. And that's a ball he should block. Like, look at that. That ball's tight. It's on the net. It's dropping inside in this wind. Great shot by Stafford, but Ryan should be blocking these balls. That was a tool to last play. <laughs> this is just mean. Okay, but what's interesting is, again, his footwork being parallel doesn't allow him to move. Like, he can't move out of that. He can't move out of that. Perhaps, I don't know, but perhaps if he had had his right leg off, he might have even got there. You know, you can easier to move with a, a staggered base with one foot in front of the other, if you're moving forward and back versus having your feet parallel. Look at that. <sighs> what were they blocking on that? Let's see for a second. I have that call. I have that call. Are they blocking ball? Okay, so blocking ball, pulling line, I'm guessing. Okay, so it's Miles' ball. Just probably have your left foot off the net. Yeah, that's Miles' ball. Blocking ball. Watch this pull. Notice how long it takes him to pull. If you're coming through the middle, his left foot should be off the net. Okay, and then he does a crossover step back into this area here. Super easy. But notice, yeah, look how he has to make a crossover. So he does a shuttle left. Then he pulls his foot. Then he steps into it. Then he goes back. He's taking like five steps. See how long that took. He's got miles. Miles played it, had a great play. But did you guys see how long that is? So even somebody like Ryan has to pull off the net. And if he does this footwork, he'll be much better at pulling off the net. I've got this uh, six foot four blocker named Jessica Sakura that I helped this with. She's having a lot of times pulling off the net. And she just loves it, you know, because her ability to pull with the, uh, stri with the step uh, close is much easier for blocking. Okay, so he should be on the line. Now, notice how he's he's never quite in position. Like, 
What's interesting for me is he's serving Reed. Like he should be, this ball is going to the pin. So he's, this is like not great. Like notice how he's moving right now across the court. This is terrible. Like he should be waiting here, right foot back, waiting on that line, waiting for that ball. Then he should basically be arm straight, step close with the right leg, sealing off the whole angle. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing Miles digs this. I think I've seen the shot line. Okay, so Miles is finally reading it. Good. Okay. No, not a bad shot. Okay. But again, look at his hands. I just feel like it's that's not a bad block. I like that straight arm here. So, but like, oh, he could be sealing off everything. You're like Ryan, seven foot. Like, if I was his side, I'd block everything. Like, take everything. And he doesn't always do that because his hands are not moving effectively and he's not in the correct starting and he's not step closing. Nice dig. Nice play, guys. Nice set. Nice shot, Miles. Stafford and uh, Reed beat him up in this match. They won the first one and they won the second one pretty handily, I think, by like seven points. And it was not Miles that lost this. Well, <laughs> he lost the last point. <laughs> okay, um, so going back to the stuff, there's basically 10 reasons why I think the step close is better, okay? And, um, you know, it's everything from uh, it allows you to jump high, it allows you to penetrate more, it allows you to pull better, it creates a better mindset, it allows for better movement, it allows for uh, the stopping of plays, it allows for better reading. It allows for better stopping of the player's approach and hitting in their angle. It does a number of different things. And I think this video really highlights some of those points. If you haven't seen the instructional videos, I highly encourage you to go see those too. So that you're not like in a vacuum when you hear me saying this stuff. Um, Ryan, you know, I'm sorry for uh, my comments, but you know, I just, I like you as a person. I think you're amazing. So. Uh, if you guys get a chance, follow Ryan on social media. He is awesome in everything we need in volleyball. I just want to see him block a hell of a lot more balls. Okay, uh, so to see more videos, go to volleyball101.com. And uh, thanks for listening and like this video if you thought it was valuable.